Hello and welcome to Happy Autism Podcast. I'm your host, Mishka Sibert, a certified life coach and the founder of Happy Autism. The purpose of this podcast is to shine light on the topics that are staying in the shadows and in darkness in order to heal collectively as people that are together on this journey, whether you're a sibling, a mother, a parent, a caregiver, or autistic yourself, we are all welcome in this safe space where you can collectively talk about things safely and openly and heal together. Because this journey can be challenging, but we want to create a brighter and happier future together. So let's dive right in. Hello, and welcome to Happy Autism Podcast. In this episode, this is a very short one, I'm going to tell you more about the Happy Autism as a business model. This is taken from the in-presentation um, that I did for wonderful company ADP, which is American HR company. And they, you know, asked me to do presentation for the wonderful webinar was happening in April in terms of Autism Month and Autism Acceptance and Celebration and Awareness Month. So I'm just going to dive deep and t- show you basically what the problem was a solution and how does my brother's role as a creative director play really importantly in terms of like his earning income, what he does, how does he earn income, and how does he actually does all of this within our business together with me. So let's dive right in. So the idea behind this why is because, you know, for me, I experienced so many people being very cruel and the society, you know, was just trying to fight and I was completely, was like heartbroken because I wanted to protect my brother and show them that, okay, you don't have to be so cruel to my brother. And being an overprotective sister, it was heartbreaking for me to experience the judgment of the society towards my beautiful baby brother. You know, but after those years of fighting, I realized that this doesn't work. Fighting in terms of fighting back and rea- reacting towards those hurtful things doesn't react. I need to take this fire and turn it into passion and bring awareness to people because and educate them because they're reacting through fear because they this is unknown for them. They don't know about autism. So I decided, okay, I'm going to take this fire and turn it into passion and start advocating and become a super passionate advocate and show the world what is autism what is my brother's autism? Who is my brother? And show him to the world. And I wanted to show him, uh, show him to the world and show what he can achieve. And the big mission for me is to always, the happy autism means creating a happy future for people with autism, where we all need this together. So that not just mean just like for people that are autistic, but also for their families and siblings and all the society and community of neurodiversity, where people with autism are accepted as who they are, and they're equally accepted and seen as equals, not someone is less than. And they're seen, heard, and celebrated for who they are, because they're teaching us so many wonderful things, and are bringing innovation outside of the box thinking into the world. Um, and they are bringing us back into our own humanity connection to our own self and learning how to communicate clearly and how to listen. So in terms of like problem and solutions, there were three problems I saw. So first problem was no or little awareness. So my solution to that was, okay, let's make autism visible because it's called as invisible disability. And let's make autism visible through unique and bright t-shirts and hoodies that stand down and start a conversation. So they raise awareness. And it is actually was tested by me and other wonderful people and moms actually that have a collection and you can purchase it yourself and our own link description is that it's super bright. The colors are chosen by my brother. Um, the art is his. So, and you've got his name in the back, says or to art by Sam Kosiber. And the point is that when I wear the collection, I start a conversation. Wherever I go, people are like, oh, this is cool hoodie, this is cool t-shirt. And it's a conversation starter. Therefore, it's a conversation that leads to greater awareness autism and showing people this is autism. This is one of the representations of autism. And there are many representations of autism. Dive deeper into that and have an open mind and listen. The second problem was limited self-expression uh, limited self-expression, and my brother being 
quote unquote voiceless. He's not voiceless, but since he's nonverbal, he was not heard because people don't understand nonverbal communication. Many times they're so, you know, with the whole digital world of being disconnected from each other and from ourselves, and that's a whole global problem. People are disconnected and don't know how to communicate and with each other, and that's why we have many problems in this world. What I believe is that when we actually listen and learn how to communicate with each other and listen to ourselves and others around us, we can solve so many problems and not have so many conflicts so the solution for this limited self-expression was speaking allowing him to speak loud through his art and in a unique way of having voice heard and being seen so helping someone that is non-verbal be heard and letting him show me how he wants to be heard okay and giving a platform a space Space and create a space for him to shine bright and for him to come forth and express himself loudly and clearly in the way that is for him unique and authentic. The third problem was with employability, high dependency on the family and limited skill set. And high dependency not just in terms of like taking care and in terms of like self-care and hygiene and and all of those things, but also financial dependency, whether on the government or funds or family. And many uh, families, even if they have funding from government or something and support, they still struggle. And I believe that this can be solved. This can be solved. This problem with employability. Um, and there are not enough bridges to actually connect. There are some organizations that are already doing this, like All Abilities. And Olivia is doing their own fashion brand that is just wonderful. And I'm a huge fan of them. And I'm and the collaboration with All Abilities. All Abilities are wonderful. I love them. Um, but, you know... There is nothing greater in terms of connecting different dots. And there are different platforms and different people doing their own thing. And this is our way of doing our own thing. So, but at the times, I didn't know anything. When I was creating this business and this idea, I didn't see anything in our country or didn't see anything that could actually give roles and employment to people. And not for my brother. So since I know my brother and I've grown so much closer to him through the pandemic and um, through creating and doing all of this together, I knew that I can create a unique role for him with a business and a model that is easily sustainable and that is important. While life is, gets busy and all of that, I needed to create something that is easily sustainable where some cause unique gifts and skills can be monetized and turned into multiple streams of income. Yes, you hear me right, multiple streams of income. Um, which is, what was the whole point? I wanted him to have his earn, own earnings and also have a proportions of money coming back to the business so he can grow. And I didn't have any sponsor. I used my own money that I earned into the back into the business and we didn't have any sponsor it was just me testing the ground and trying out things and learning because through the learning i knew what works and what doesn't and i documented in a documentary called route to independence which i always give a shout out to i'm gonna link it if you're watching on youtube you can see the links towards the playlist where you can watch it all link in the description where you can see the road to independence exam showing this road and how I actually documented um, my brother's achieving higher independence, complete independence as an artist, where he's not dependent on me for the guidance in terms of creativity, but he's feeling fully empowered to express himself freely, uniquely, authentically, and where he's actually using his gift to get commissions, which is one of the streams, but also where he's going to the store and buying his own uh colors and he's super proud that he's doing himself then it's not me and which leads me to the next point which is why he's the creative director so my whole life he was like kind of caregiver since i was nine and he was like you know he was me being caregiver sister and like a second parent a second mom and i was always i'll take care of everything and i will do it all for you which led me to burnout and me and we really, really be burning out and him feeling disempowered and someone is less than and being patronized because um, it was an equality between our relationship. And I really realized that for me, it's enjoyable only when we both contribute, not when I do everything myself. 
And this is not the point. I would not do this business if my brother was not playing an important role in it. Because it would not be empowering, interesting enough for me, and I would not be doing what I truly believe in. And then it's harmony and equality and balance in our relationship and our business. Uh, and I believe totally in independence for myself and for him. So instead of that, I started letting go of control, which was the work that I had to do on my side and a lot of work on my side to let go of control and to deprogram my kind of like caretaking and just like doing it all and trying to have control of things because I'm scared that he's not going to do it properly and the way he does. And my perfectionism, I was like, do you know what? Just whatever. Screw it. Show me how you want to do it. Take the lead. Step into the, your own power and show me. And where I was doing it, his empowerment and his way of being the boss started increasing exponentially within months. And he started believing in himself. But it was the combination of my mentorship on work on my own self and him reacting towards this and responding through the way. I had to do the work. Because if I didn't do the work, on myself and on our relationship, he would not have the space where he would feel completely supported and free to have this potential unlocked and and really place for growth. So the more I let him take the lead and trust it, with all my body, all my words, all my emotion and energy behind those words, because he's so sensitive to words, that's a nonverbal communication. It's not about the words you say, but what energy and emotion if you truly embody the meaning behind those words that's what he um was reacting towards to and responding so that is the whole point whether this was truly meant through my for my side the meaning is important so the more i let him take lead and trusted his decision and let go of control the more he proved he's able to make such decisions that he's able not disabled able to make such decisions and he's eager to make them very very eager you can see his excitement and his huge excitement and the like eager um decisions that he's making in our documentary in fact it is extremely important important and empowering for him um for him and it's super motivating for me so without this approach and this work that we both do there will be no brand no business no happy autism so how do we communicate so i started speaking to my brother with intention and knowing that he understands me i really had to work on my own beliefs and look and go beyond and stepped into the unknown even though it was so scary and i felt that you know my mom was like doubting me she's like yeah but that's the hardest thing you know i was doing something that nobody has done i was doing something that i've never done before it was for me huge unknown and i had to really try and be take the risk and go and do it um and i was like whatever let's try and let's what if he does understand i started playing with the belief what if he understands me the more i started trusting this belief and laying into this belief and trusted him and listening with an open mind the more he started opening up to me and communicate with me because you have this thing that autistics are they don't pay attention they don't look into your eyes and but many people's parents don't listen i didn't listen I was like fogged in my mind and I was like, I heard it was like, it was like I was coming to him with this empowerment, right? Not empowerment. So this is why parents, if they want to really unlock their potential, and if you do want to work with people with autism, you have to have the right mindset. Because only with this mindset, you're allowing them to show up. Now let's look at the streams of income, my favorite part. <laughs> so the first one is original art. 
So those are paintings on paper on canvas that he made in the past three years, and we have them on our online shop on Etsy. So with some cost role in it, obviously he painted them. And the second thing, I took pictures and I posted them and created listings. They are just there, and I use SEO optimization for them to be searchable and just to be in there. So the first part was for me is just a really. Uh, it's in a way passive income because I put it on there and then it's there and it's just laying in there and you want and you know sometimes I promote there sometimes I don't and it depends on what I choose to promote at what time. But some controls in this is obviously I put it over there and did the marketing side and my brother was he painted it and he actually assist with packing and shipping. He I taught him how to pack it himself and he puts like the thank you card in it and he takes it. Uh, with us, either with me or mom or all of us, to the post office, and we go and ship it. But he's the one that packs it. This is very important for me that we establish that as a rule. This is the rule. So even if I'm not at home, my mom knows that he has to pack it. Uh, even though it's, it was challenging for him to do that because of his motor skills, you know, um, he's the one he has to pack it. The second one is the. One-on-one service, which is personalized art commissions. So it's made to order commissions that he paints. Um, he's got beautiful gift of sensitivity, and he can read people's energy. So he looks at a picture of a person that he's painting this painting for, and and um, you can choose the colors that you prefer, or he can choose colors for you. So Sanko creates a painting from this photo. I mean, he looks at a person. Or for friends, or we actually got one one for customer uh, and that Sharon shout out to her that she wanted to some kind to represent her friendship with her friend, and she sent us a bunch of photos and this energy that they have with her friendship. She wanted to uh, send it as a gift to her friend who's a teacher and she works a special and uh, needs children in America. So she is she Sharon is from Australia and she's a wonderful. Um, uh, occupational therapist, and she's actually was really inspired to start painting with children as well, uh, and and show them that they can have this path also, like some code that they can sell their art and become artists, which was super wonderful for me to see that that someone is doing that, and and that we inspire other people uh, to really show the children the possibilities. So this is wonderful. So Samko is doing this personalized art commissions and what he does is he makes it from scratch and also does packing and assist with shipping. Again, packing is done by him. The first one, uh, the way he got income is merch. So the Spectrum collection that I'm also wearing, you can see it in a video if you're watching on YouTube. So Samco's paintings made into digital designs, printed onto clothing and merchandise in collaboration with Teespring. We currently work with Teespring and we have our shop on Teespring. So Samco chooses and approves colors and design. He's, it got, has to go before we launched it. He has to go through approval through him. If... Um, you know, he needs to show excitement for that and eagerness. If he doesn't, I'm like, nah, not doing it. Bye. Ditch the idea. <laughs> but so far, he's been super excited about everything, to be honest, uh, which is amazing. So I'm really excited about that. The fourth part is membership. So we have Patreon for this podcast. But also Samka has Patreon for his own art. So it's a monthly private membership starting from $2 to, um, I think, $20 full of exclusive content and discount and that means that you basically can see behind the scenes of him like unedited footage of him painting and you can see a never released footage and never released um you know photos of him doing his process and I filmed him when he was and he agreed to first of all he agreed to be filmed um because it's a very creative process and a beautiful process and it's a sacred. It's just very sacred and it's very fascinating for me to observe and I feel very privileged to be there when he's creating. So I ask him if he, I can feel him for other people. That is like for his VIP friends at Patreon. And he said, yes, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> and he also what he did is you can see in a documentary the way he was doing it is that he was choosing which content gets shared and published. So he chose which videos he wants to share with you of his whole unedited process of him being captured painting. This is for Patreon. Um, 
And I will link all of these into our description if you want to check all of that out. So um, you can see for yourself what we're doing and what I'm talking about. And the five, then the last one is donation to his tip jar. So Samco has his own account. We actually went to bank with him and he was like a big boss and we created his own account in a bank and connected to PayPal. So he's got his own PayPal tip jar where donations via PayPal go directly to his bank account. And Samco is the face obviously of the brand and the promotional content, whatever we promote, anything of that. So this is his role he plays in it. He's got his own account. So yes, Really, I'm the founder and the business on me, but he's got his important role. And and the thing is that without him, this would not exist and this would not have a meaning. So, you know, if you want to see more of that and how we actually do it, check our Instagram, check our documentary where you can see the real examples, the real videos of him actually reacting towards how I communicate, the role, his service in his business, the service, the customer, how what, the reaction when he sees people's uh, faces, you know, because I ask people to, uh, you know, to for him to actually get paid, it needs to be physical and visible. So I ask people that got painted from him or merch to send us photos of themselves and videos and they were so happy to do it so they sent us beautiful photos and i showed them to some kind i was like from this person you've got this much of money so i put the coins and physical money into his tip jar um so he could see and then he took the money and they went to show up and give it to the lady and she gave him you know his colors that he bought color supplies so he was the one that was paying he was the one that was choosing he was the one that was receiving and that is the most important thing. Something that's so simple as him doing, just like paying, for example, and giving that money to the person and not having any limitations in terms of how many colors he can choose. Because until then, we were like, oh yeah, some code's expensive, you choose just a few colors. And he was like, nah. And now he got all, all of his money. He could spend as much, 50 euros, whatever, how many euros he wanted to spend on the colors, not limit because he earned it. And you should see his face being so excited. Go check Rotten Independence documentary on YouTube and or IGTV and check the last episode number four where we show you how we do business and we show you how Samco is all empowered walking around the shop like the biggest boss because he's the creative director of Happy Autism. So what is the key mindset it's you need to have in terms of working with autistics and creating something that is meaningful with them is you need to create them you need to create a welcoming and empowering space for neurodivergent thinkers. And then it comes from the place of ability, equality, and empowerment. But not just thinking it, but speaking it and behaving like it and embodying it and proving them that you really do mean that. So start working on you, whether you're a mom or your sibling, whether you are someone that is employer, and look where are your and these empowering beliefs, what kind of beliefs are there in terms of like, what do you truly believe that your child or the or someone that is autistic can achieve? And how can you actually change those mindsets and bring the empowerment towards them? And if you need help with that, I do this into my coaching programs and one of my services. So you can totally hire me for speaking gigs, webinars, mentorship, and coaching, whether you are mom, sibling, or employer that is looking forward to work with someone that is autistic and nonverbal. So you can see all of my um, links in a bio at happy autism on Instagram, or you can see in the description. And one of my um, quotes I would end up with is that autism is an invisible disability. But the soul can be seen if you look closely through your heart. The soul can be seen if you look closely through your heart. So thank you very much for listening, for watching this video. And yes, let's bring empowerment, inclusion, and acceptance toward this world with rote independence for other autistics and the whole autism community. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you very much for listening to Happy Autism Podcast. I really do appreciate your support and what would even help us more spread the message. And in exchange for wonderful bonuses from Samco and myself, go to patreon.com slash happyautism and check what we've got to offer and how we actually can support this cause, awareness and empowerment. Thank you for being with us on this journey. See you next time.